Hello all and greetings from the allotment. Um, we had our first strawberries yeah, uh, yesterday and look what we've got here. Look at that. Let's see if I can put two, two of my fingers you can see how big it is. Just look how big that one is. <laughs> look at this one here. That's bigger than two fingers. They're all starting to change. We've got more over here. And more coming here. We've got strawberries everywhere. <laughs> Some more over there. So it's well and truly started now. Had eight strawberries up to now. And uh, it's looking good. Well chuffed. You know, you can just. We're just loaded with them everywhere, everywhere you look. Strawberries. Can't keep up with them. <laughs> the new plants, I know some say don't take the some say take the flowers off. I don't bother. And uh just look at these. Absolutely loaded. So it's looking really, really good. Look at the tomatoes. We've, we've potted up um, 75 into 4 inch pots. Uh, we've got so many. And the, they're going mad, the uh, courgettes and the cucumber. Well, the courgettes. Absolutely fantastic. See, I've uh, got some more tomatoes there to transplant. Uh, these are zinnias, what have been transplanted. Those we've got to do. And I'll take you over here. We've got the tomatoes, they've both just been transplanted. Rhubarb. This is the seed I took off my plants last year, and uh, there's four in there. What I can see up to now, so it's not been a total waste. I don't think I put many in there, to be honest. So uh, I'll let those carry on. Um, some of the tomato plants don't look that great. I think maybe when we did have the frost, they might have it might have been a bit too cold for them in here. But they're surviving, that's the main thing. They're looking okay. More zinnias down there and the marigolds over there. Uh, more zinnias over here, so that's looking all good. Um, I've not shown you this before, but just down on the side of the polytunnel, I thought I'd just have a little flower bed. Now what I've done, I've put a row of zinnias, can you see, sorry, there's zinnias, there's another one there, so we've got some going all the way across, and they're coming through. Now, I've got some poppies what I've sprinkled at the back there, and they're coming through. And I've also sprinkled some marigold seeds down here as well. So this is my little, going to be my little flower patch. Uh, I've got to do the grass trimming and that again. God, just look at the uh, vertical strawberry bed. It's gone mad. Doesn't that look lush? That takes a lot of water in, but I've, I've not done any this year. But you know, it's it's looking good not done anything with the beds yet, it's all down to money, I haven't got it at the minute. The rhubarbs, are, what I've dug up, are all going to waste, I don't know anyone who wants any. So they're all lying down here. Raspberries are growing nicely, we should get some off those this year. In fact, if you look closely at them, um, 
we have got we've got some coming here so they, they've all got uh, moving across they have got some coming some flowers so we should get quite a few off those this year a lot more than last year anyway um, let's take should take you around to show you the uh, fruit trees the pears come around here and can you see can you see all the pears that's this here look how many of those have taken this has got literally hundreds on a little tree um, now we will lose most of those with the winds and that what you get in June I'll take you across to this pear tree as well and just look I don't know whether these are taken yes they have yes they have some of them have anyway you can see the swelling just trying to see they're not as good as the yeah yeah there we are sorry so they're okay this is the plum tree I'm not so sure with plums um, I think these are all little plums here I could be wrong if somebody else can say put me in right because I yeah you can see there that one's swelling you can see oh that one's come off <laughs> that was no good anyway I was going to give it a shake so we'll have a few on there this is Brayburn apple full of blossom so we don't know what's going to happen with that just yet depends whether we get any frost we've got another pear tree here and as you can see we've got loads of pears forming on here it's absolutely can you see there absolutely loaded so that's looking quite good down here these are my lettuce god can you see it now just look can you see all that slime from the slugs they would have had all those lettuce on to, if I had to put uh, pellets down let's look at that so anyway that's uh, so that's those and if we take you take you across into into this area here and you can see that I think these what were these kohlrabi yeah kohlrabi so I've got I've got some kohlrabi coming across they're a bit of hit and miss but they're, they're there um, so yeah so it's not total loss um, over here we've got carrots growing three three rows across of carrots and we've got some curly kale and it is growing just down there you can just see some and then over here we've got lettuce growing across here and then I've got some beetroot and you can you'll see it there it's a bit hard to see it in here but they're growing through so uh, so we're gonna have some beetroot as well just look at the now I always get these mixed up I can't remember if it's red currant black currant I think it's red currant just look at that it's absolutely loaded absolutely loaded <laughs> so much and the same with the um, whatever whether it's red or black that's loaded as well the gooseberry bush if I take you underneath they are you can see we have got uh, there is quite a few gooseberries on here you can see some more down there a bit hard to spot but they're there they're, they're growing nicely to be honest uh, they're like the size of peas some of them at the minute so yeah I'm quite happy with that didn't have any off there last year don't think or well, maybe I did but I can't remember um, 
let's have a look, take you around to the other pear tree, the one I often neglect because it came off somebody else's plot and uh, I never really expected to get much from it. I can just, sorry, before I get to that, I can just see the look at that full air goes gugs. Strawberries are looking really good down here. These are the ones where I get loads of big strawberries from. Oh, now let's have a look on this, onto the pear tree. It's not looking great. I think maybe the frost caught some of these. Uh, the, what, you know, when it was in the early days, a few weeks ago. I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, it's got loads on it. I don't know. I think we could be all right. Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Doesn't look the healthiest of trees. No idea how old it is. Uh, I can see that that gooseberry's got loads on as well. And my loganberry here is filled out nicely. That's looking really good. Quite impressed with that, I thought whether my uh, pruning and that might have had an effect on it. The rhubarb's growing nicely, I'm going to have to pick some more of that. Um, I'll take you down. Oh, we've got a pot over there, look how big the strawberry plants have grown now. I'll take you over here. You can see we've uh, actually loaded with uh, blossom, absolutely loaded, I think they're pretty well all out. Um, so that's pretty, pretty pleased with that. Um, and then a quick peep and see, show you what I've been doing. Uh, I've just potted up some of the um, bigger tomato plants what we've grown. Um, we've potted up four of those. And I've got more at home, which will stay at home. Loads of blossom on the strawberries in here. Uh, the symphony. And the troughs are filling out very well. As you can see. Looking good. Still got some bedding plants and that in here to pot on. The abelias never looks great, but that will cover. Um, so yeah, all in all, not looking too bad. Now let me just show you at the back of my shed, because this is an area I've not used for a couple of years my wild area. This is where if I decided to have some hens this is where they would go. Obviously I would have to put more, fe more fencing up, dig it into the ground, I'd have to have slabs. Um, it would go in this area. Um, you can't really tell on the camera how big it is but it, I guess it's at the furthest it's quite narrow. It's probably Six or seven foot wide, seven foot wide, I think, at the furthest there. And then at this end, it's uh, well, it's probably about twelve feet this wide, this side, and it's actually about twenty foot, twenty foot, sorry, from from the corner to this corner just here. So. That would obviously have to be fully enclosed all the way underneath, above, and the sides. Uh, I can't make up my mind what, what to do about it. There must be some cattle in the field at the back, unless it's somebody sneezing. Some animal. Yep, yeah, so that's it gives me something to think about and I don't know whether you oh can you let me zoom in and get in here can you see that 
Now, let me see if I can point. Can you see just there? That is the um, the hen house. What's up for sale? What I could have. That's what I've got to decide on. It's quite. I don't know. It's quite large. It's got a lot of. Box, nest boxes in that inside, all built in onto both sides. Okay, that's it then. Thanks for watching.